Hi, it's me again, and today I may very well come bearing bad news, unfortunately. You know, we talked about it a few times of what's going to happen in 2027 when the TV licence fee does go. I do believe that the TV licence fee as we know it is going to go in 2027. I genuinely do believe that. But what's it going to be replaced by? And we're hearing more and more and more talk now about this tax, this media tax that could be slung on your broadband bill or on your pay slip or whatever, and then paid per person, not per household, meaning they get more money and you can't avoid paying it very easily. Well, we don't know how that would work yet. See more and more about it. Have a look at this story with me. New TV tax to replace BBC licence fee is likely to cost some viewers more. Well, depending on how much it costs, but the only way it could cost you less is if you live alone and the TV tax is paid per person, and then you may be up on a deal by a few quid. Whoopee, eh? But more and more people are going to be paying it. So it's not bloody whoopee at all, is it? It's a joke. This better not come in. It better not come in. Culture Minister Julia Lopez said a government review tasked with producing a replacement for the £159 charge could recommend a new household TV tax, which asked wealthier people to pay more. Asked whether viewers would object to paying a new TV tax, Ms Lopez said the government would have to be cautious about imposing a new tapered charge which could create winners and losers. We're all politicians. Who wants to introduce a new tax, she asked. If you do remove the licence fee, you would have to look with seriousness and candour at an alternative. That may include some kind of tax or levy. Why? Why? If you remove the licence fee, why do you need to look at imposing a tax with seriousness and candle? You don't. You don't. You've got several years before this agreement, this royal charter with the BBC expires. You have several years. All you need to do is, today, write the BBC a letter and say, that's it for you. In 2027, the licence fee will end. That's it. Where you go from here is your decision. You can be a global streaming service. You crack on, get on with it. You've got four or five years to get on with it. Or you can start showing ads. Well, you can already show ads. You've already got ad partners because you own UK TV. And UK TV shows ads as an ad agency owned by Channel 4 that works with UK TV. You can do that. You've already got everything in place. You don't need our money anymore. And there won't be a tax and there won't be any license fees. It's not hard, is it? Why can't the BBC stand on its own two feet. Oh yeah, because it's protected by government, because it helps to protect government. It's not what you know, is it? Ms Lopez said she'd hope the corporation itself would propose a workable solution. Yeah, <laughs> good luck with that. Why would the BBC themselves propose a workable solution? At the moment, they suck in £3.2 billion pounds a year. Why would you give that up? Why would you choose to give that up? You're not going to get a workable solution from the BBC. The only workable solution you're going to get from the BBC is more, 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 please. That's it. BBC board members have privately discussed alternatives, including a television tax, that can be linked to household income. The BBC could also be supported by a Treasury-funded government grant. Yeah, I've said that before. I've said that one before. I think that's how the BBC should go. So they should get rid of everything... Well, keep the radio station. I don't care about your radio station. We're talking about telly here, right? So get rid of everything you've got on the telly, apart from BBC One and BBC News. And you make them commercial. Show ads on them. And all you show on there are repeats. Now, if you want to watch the new stuff and the premium stuff, you've got to go to iPlay, or that'll be rebanded as BBC Plus, probably. So if you want to watch EastEnders on a Tuesday night, why you'd want to do that, don't know. But if you do like that sort of thing, you'd have to pay to watch it using iPlay or BBC Plus, as I believe it would probably be called. If you don't want to pay, then you can wait till Sunday or whatever and they'll have the omnibus on BBC One on your telly as normal, but it'll be chopped full of ads, how every other channel manages to support itself. But the BBC could be given a government grant to keep BBC News in business because the government likes BBC News because it's it protects them a bit, i.e. Boris and the booing thing during the Jubilee. How is that not a workable solution? It requires... No public money. You don't have to pay a telly tax or a TV licence fee. The BBC are incentivised to make better stuff because then they'll get better advertisers and more subscribers over there on their iPlayer service. And everybody wins. But how is it just me and you lot that can see this? Why can't these people, why can't Ms Lopez see this? 
Mad, doesn't it? The review will examine options for funding the BBC, including a voluntary Netflix-style subscription model and allowing advertising on some services. It could recommend a hybrid model combining different solutions, but fairness will be at the heart of the new mechanism ministers pledged. So yeah, I know I went off on a bit of a rant saying, why can't they see it? Why can only we see it? It is there, and they do talk about it occasionally, being a subscription service and showing ads. The, the ideas are there, but they're not interested in it. The BBC have said they're not interested in it. Why would they be? They get their 3.2 billion a year. They want to keep the status quo, don't they? And, um, you know, Ms. Lopez is talking about a tax. At no point has she talked about subscription services and showing ads. Her first port of call was media tax. Whereas my first port of call is let them fund themselves, show ads, make your own bloody money. So yeah, I don't know what's going to go on, but we are at quite an interesting point with it all, aren't we? You know, we're getting to the point now where everything's going to start getting decided ready for 2027. And it is, it is interesting at the minute, it is. So what do you think about this then? Because like I say, we're at the beginning of the main talking phase of it all, and it's going to start building up to 2027. So let me know what you think about it all. And if you want to know more about it and keep up to date with what's happening on the build up to 2027, do make sure you subscribe to the channel because that way you get to see all the latest videos, won't you? So you hit the subscribe button, leave me your comments, etc., and I will see you, hopefully, I'll see you anyway, in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.